Uh, speaking of bringing it, got to send a major shout out to uh, Deandra. Was her name? Yeah. Deandra from Charlotte. She is now $2,000 richer with the Morning Hustle Cash and yeah, Dash. She's going to be going to, uh, you know, qualify to go to Birthday Bash 25. Also qualify to go see Bruno Mars. And she get to take three of her best friends with her on that tour. So we love to see it. That's that on that. All right, let's get to the hip-hop spot. Last night it went down versus battle. And I know I was one of the people who was, like, less enthusiastic about it because I felt like versus didn't put the oomph on it that was yeah. needed. Far as the promo. I agree. Because when you think back early 2000s, mm. Eve was out here cooking people. Eve, the illest pit bull in a skirt. You know what I'm saying? We loved her. And you think about Trina. We still love her. Anytime Trina would come out with something, it was a moment. The baddest. And I know they sometimes try to keep her records with inside Florida, but no. Nah. Trina has been like spoon feeding y'all bops for a minute. And maybe, you know, they changed the locks on, on the radio side of things, but nah, oh, yeah. she stayed consistent with it. And uh, she came to perform, y'all. Oh, all eyes on your riches, what? no time for the little what? You keep the bigger the d- the bigger the bank, the bigger the bins, the better your chance oh. to get close to a rich friend. Huh? Going after the big man, huh? the G-string make his d- huh? Now, I say that Trina came to perform just to lead to Eve did not come to perform. Mm. Every time I tapped in, it seemed like she didn't want to be there. Mm. And, like, I, I hold Eve in such a high regard as a lyricist. Yeah. And, you know, for what she gave us in the past. And it's just like, I don't know. You know how, like, we, you know, we watch boxing, the champ get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Everything that was happening in Rocky Three, all right? I so feel you. the champ got comfortable. You got the mansion. You got the house, the billionaire husband. And you're like, oh, let me you come good. down off the mountains to rap for y'all, I so, guess. You know what I got from her? You know how some artists are more so, like, they're really good in studio, they're good lyricists but they're just not good performers. That's what I got. Because I remember, I started thinking to myself, damn, I don't think I ever saw Eve perform live like that. Like, I feel like maybe a little bit. And when she was, like you said, maybe when she was younger, hungrier, it was a different vibe. But um, some people just aren't performers. They're not live performers. But, Trina gave me performer yeah. energy. You know, she she came to battle. But yeah, so the strippers. I, I went to the Rough yeah. Riders tour. Eve tore it down back it's, in the day. Hence, this was back in the day. It was a different hunger. It was yeah. a different hunger back then. Like you know, She ain't had no billionaire boo. boo. Yeah, now well, it's, you know, Well, uh, you know, Trina didn't have a boo, billionaire boo with her, but she did have the mayor of the 305, Trick hey. Daddy. Hey. Who like this like you? Hey. Who fight this and the dance that Trick Daddy does when he does this song takes me out every time, man. So big shout out to them. This is me personally giving Trick Daddy and Trina their flowers because y'all cooked that last night. You know me and how? Then been the places I've been. Who's been the same as me? I gotta watch my mouth because I'm like, it's a lot. Curses. Yeah, you yeah, better be yeah, very yeah. careful yeah. trying to sing those self edit game <laughs> got to be strong on that. Uh, switching gears real quick, man. You know, for the Pop Smoke fans, his manager says his new project is 95% done. So we're going to hear some new music from the Woo pretty soon, man. So big shout out to them. I, I, man, I just hate that he's getting everything he's getting posthumously. Yeah. I just I, wish that he would have got everything while he was still here. And it was bubbling up, but now he's having a moment moment. I just hope all those New York rappers that uh, sound like him don't try to finish his album. They're like, let's just put him. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? It's so many copycats now. Yo, I was listening to like Satellite Radio yesterday and they played somebody that was just rapping over some Brooklyn drill and it's just like, come on, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, they're pretty popular in, in New York, like some of these artists, but mm-hmm. like, they sound just like Pop Smoke to me. I can't, like, I, I guess. Yeah, like this Uncle Smoke, Cousin yeah, Smoke. This is like, like Cousin Smoke A. It's just like chill, son. Well, yesterday, uh, XXL, they announced their 2021 freshman class uh, with, you know, a lot of names that some people may recognize and, uh, you know, some people that you may not recognize. You got 42 Doug, Ian Dior, Coy LeRae, Lil Worried, Pooh Shiesty, Flo Millie, Moray, Ruby Rhodes, Touchy the Touch Tone, Blast, Tusi, Lakia, and DDG. I think the only person they was missing was Young Blue. I think he deserved to be on there. He did shout out all the artists that did make it. But I do want to say shout out to them for finally, you know, making the space for the women this year because it wasn't just one. You know how sometimes they just put one or two mm-hmm. women. It yeah. was a bu- it was a bunch of women on there this year, and I, I respect that. Here's the kicky. Two of those names I made up, and I bet you no one knows the wiser. I do, I do, because I I seen the list. <laughs> <laughs> it was little, you said little something. A little worried? Yeah, a little worried. I was like, I don't know who that is, but okay. Touchy, the touch tone? Okay. No, I was I was looking at a fly for a festival. There's a dude performing at this festival. His name is Baby Aspirin. 
And I had to look it up just to make sure it's a real person. Was he fire? It's a real person. Oh. Baby ass friend Baby. On, the, on the track. <laughs> Yo. Baby man. ass. Y'all running out of names. <laughs> Y'all running out of names. You know, Baby, you the name. are ass. <laughs> Yo, like be sure you follow me on YouTube, man. Tonight is another episode of Beyond the Pole. <laughs> Season 2 kicked off, yes. man. I touched down with your homie, Gigi Maguire. Right. Uh, you catch them on lip service sometimes. But, uh, yo, yo, Gigi Maguire is a wild one, but very intelligent. The interview's <laughs> Listen, going up at 12 noon geez. on my YouTube channel, Gigi H-E-A-D. is my hero, yo. G- I met Gigi Maguire. L'Oreal <laughs> brought Gigi Maguire to D.C. one good time, and I was like, Wow. We tried to do She's a, a sex one. segment on air, and Angie was like, no, 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 this it is got, going on live. It got out of control. We had to take it off the radio. Yeah, the church finger hub. Like, I was like, yeah, no. I was like, Gigi, no, we can't go. do that. We can't Shout do that. Shout out my girl, Gigi <laughs> Virgo. She so much lyric. fun. Check them out on Beyond the Pole tonight. Yep, yep. And check out the whole interview, <laughs> YouTube.com forward slash headcrack, going live at 12 Eastern time. Anyway, that's it for me. You know the vibes. We, we are the morning hustle.